Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll delve into the fascinating world of celebrity transformations. From the glitz and glamour of the red carpet to their daily lives, these 25 celebrities have undergone remarkable transformations that will surprise you. Join us as we look at how time, lifestyle choices, and personal evolution have influenced their appearances over the years. Now let us get started. Billy Bob Thornton is a versatile American actor, filmmaker, and musician born on August 4, 1955, in Hot Springs, Arkansas. He gained widespread recognition for his standout performance as the mentally challenged Carl Childers in the 1996 film, Sling Blade, which he wrote, directed, and starred in, earning him an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay. Throughout his career, Thornton has showcased his talent in a diverse range of roles, from dark and complex characters to comedic ones. He has received critical acclaim for his performances in films such as Monsters Ball, Bad Santa, and Fargo. In addition to his acting prowess, Thornton has also made significant contributions as a filmmaker and musician. He has directed several films and released multiple albums as a singer-songwriter. As of now, Billy Bob Thornton is 68 years old and continues to captivate audiences with his exceptional talent and multifaceted career spanning over four decades. Meg Ryan is an American actress and producer born on November 19, 1961, in Fairfield, Connecticut. She rose to fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s with her endearing performances in romantic comedies, particularly in films like, When Harry Met Sally, and, Sleepless in Seattle. Ryan became known for her charming persona and infectious on-screen chemistry with co-stars like Tom Hanks. Throughout her career, Ryan showcased her versatility by taking on a variety of roles in both romantic comedies and dramas. She received critical acclaim for her performances in films such as, You've Got Mail, and, Kate and Leopold. In addition to her acting career, Ryan has also ventured into producing. Despite facing some career challenges in the mid-2000s, she remains a beloved figure in Hollywood. Presently, Meg Ryan is 62 years old, and while she may have taken a step back from the spotlight in recent years, her contributions to the romantic comedy genre and her enduring legacy in film continue to be celebrated by audiences worldwide. Jaleel White is an American actor, producer, and writer born on November 27, 1976, in Culver City, California. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of the iconic character Steve Urkel on the popular sitcom, Family Matters, which aired from 1989 to 1998. White's portrayal of Urkel, a nerdy and lovable neighbor, catapulted him to stardom and became one of the most memorable characters in television history. Following his success on Family Matters, White continued to work in television, film, and voice acting. He has appeared in numerous TV shows and movies, showcasing his versatility as an actor. White has also lent his voice to various animated series and video games. Throughout his career, White has garnered praise for his comedic timing and acting skills. Although he remains best known for his role as Steve Urkel, he has proven himself as a talented and versatile performer. Today, Jaleel White is 47 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, leaving a lasting impact with his memorable performances. Donatella Versace is an Italian fashion designer born on May 2, 1955, in Reggio di Calabria, Italy. She became famous for her prominent role as the vice president and chief designer of Versace, the renowned Italian luxury fashion company founded by her brother, Johnny Versace. 
Donatella's career has been marked by innovation and boldness as she has pushed the boundaries of fashion with her daring designs and glamorous aesthetic. Throughout her career, Donatella has achieved numerous accolades, including awards for her contributions to the fashion industry and her impact on popular culture. She has successfully expanded the Versace brand globally, creating iconic pieces worn by celebrities and fashion enthusiasts alike. Currently, Donatella Versace is 68 years old, yet her influence on fashion continues to be significant, with her designs continuing to shape trends and inspire designers worldwide. Nick Nolt, born on February 8, 1941, in Omaha, Nebraska, ascended to stardom through his versatile acting and rugged charm, becoming a leading figure in Hollywood during the late 20th century. The turning point in his career occurred with the 1976 television miniseries, Rich Man, Poor Man, garnering widespread acclaim and a Golden Globe nomination. Nolte's journey is marked by remarkable performances across a spectrum of genres, showcasing his prowess in both drama and comedy. Acclaimed roles in The Prince of Tides, Affliction, and Warrior brought critical acclaim and three Academy Award nominations. Now at 83, Nick Nolte remains an active force in the entertainment industry, attesting to his enduring passion for acting and unwavering commitment to his craft. His indelible contributions have solidified his status as one of the most respected actors of his generation, leaving an enduring legacy in cinema. Joaquin Phoenix is an American actor born on October 28, 1974, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. He comes from a family of performers, including his late brother, River Phoenix. Joaquin gained widespread fame for his intense and transformative performances in a variety of roles, establishing himself as one of the most talented actors of his generation. His breakout role came in the 2000 film, Gladiator where he portrayed the complex character Commodus, earning him critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Throughout his career, Phoenix has continued to impress audiences and critics alike with his captivating portrayals, demonstrating a remarkable range and depth in his acting. Among his many achievements, Joaquin Phoenix won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of Arthur Fleck in the 2019 film, Joker solidifying his status as one of the finest actors of his era. As of now, Joaquin Phoenix is 49 years old, still actively contributing to the world of cinema with his exceptional talent. John C. Riley is an American actor and comedian born on May 24, 1965, in Chicago, Illinois. He gained recognition for his versatile performances and comedic talent, becoming a prominent figure in both film and television. Riley's breakthrough role came in the 1997 film, Boogie Nights, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, where he portrayed the character of Reed Rothschild, earning him critical acclaim and establishing him as a respected actor in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Riley has showcased his versatility by seamlessly transitioning between comedic and dramatic roles, earning him widespread praise and numerous award nominations. He has appeared in a diverse range of films, including, Chicago, Gangs of New York, and, Step Brothers. Among his achievements, John C. Riley has been nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in, Chicago and has received multiple Golden Globe nominations for his performances. Currently, John C. Riley is 58 years old, continuing to entertain audiences with his exceptional talent and charisma.
Michael Douglas, born on September 25, 1944, in New Brunswick, New Jersey, inherits a rich entertainment legacy, with his legendary father, Kirk Douglas, as a guiding influence. His journey to fame is marked by compelling performances, bringing intricate characters to life with depth and authenticity. His portrayal of the ruthless Gordon Gekko in Wall Street earned him the prestigious Academy Award for Best Actor. Demonstrating versatility, Douglas seamlessly navigates across genres, imprinting his impact on dramas, thrillers, and romantic comedies. Accumulating multiple Academy Awards, Golden Globes, and Emmy Awards, he shines both in front of and behind the camera. At 79, Michael Douglas maintains his influential standing in Hollywood, a testament to his enduring talent and legacy, firmly establishing him as a revered figure with an illustrious career. Gary Busey is an American actor and musician born on June 29, 1944, in Goose Creek, Texas. He gained fame for his dynamic and often eccentric performances, establishing himself as a memorable presence in Hollywood. Busey's breakthrough role came in the 1978 film, The Buddy Holly Story, where he portrayed the iconic musician Buddy Holly, earning him critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Throughout his career, Busey has appeared in a diverse range of films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He has portrayed characters in various genres, including action, comedy, and drama, often bringing a unique intensity to his roles. Among his achievements, Gary Busey received an Academy Award nomination for his performance in The Buddy Holly Story, and has won several awards for his work in film and television. Now, Gary Busey is 79 years old, continuing to entertain audiences with his distinctive talent and personality. Pete Burns was an English singer, songwriter, and television personality born on August 5, 1959, in Port Sunlight, England. He gained fame as the lead singer of the band Dead or Alive, which achieved commercial success in the 1980s with hits like, You Spin Me Round, Like a Record. Burns's androgynous style and flamboyant persona contributed to his iconic status in the music industry. Throughout his career, Burns continued to push boundaries with his unique fashion sense and outspoken personality. He also participated in various reality television shows, further expanding his presence in popular culture. Among his achievements, Pete Burns is best remembered for his contributions to the music industry and his impact on pop culture. Unfortunately, Pete Burns passed away on October 23, 2016, at the age of 57. Despite his untimely death, Burns's legacy as a pioneering figure in music and fashion continues to resonate with fans around the world. Corey Feldman, born on July 16, 1971, in Los Angeles, California, ascended to stardom as a child actor during the 1980s, featuring in blockbuster films like, Gremlins, The Goonies, and, Stand By Me. His youthful charm and talent rendered him a prominent figure in Hollywood, leaving an indelible mark on 80s cinema. Despite personal challenges and struggles with substance abuse in his adult years, Feldman persevered, sustaining a career in both film and television. Alongside acting, he ventured into music, releasing multiple albums and singles. Renowned as a teen idol, Corey Feldman, at 52, endures as a beloved figure in entertainment, his legacy spanning decades and serving as a testament to his enduring impact on pop culture despite the adversities he faced.
John Goodman is an American actor born on June 20, 1952, in Afton, Missouri. He gained widespread recognition for his versatile performances and commanding presence on screen. Goodman's breakout role came in the 1980s with his portrayal of Dan Connor in the hit sitcom, Roseanne, which earned him critical acclaim and multiple awards, including a Golden Globe Award. Throughout his career, Goodman has showcased his talent in a diverse range of roles, excelling in both comedic and dramatic performances. He has appeared in numerous films, including The Big Lebowski, Monsters, Inc., and Argo, solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's most respected actors. John Goodman has received several award nominations, including multiple Primetime Emmy nominations for his work in television. Currently, John Goodman is 71 years old, continuing to captivate audiences with his memorable performances and enduring talent. Anthony Michael Hall is an American actor born on April 14, 1968, in West Roxbury, Massachusetts. He first gained prominence as a member of the Brat Pack, a group of young actors who rose to fame in the 1980s. Hall became famous for his roles in iconic teen films such as Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, and Weird Science, where he portrayed relatable and memorable characters. Throughout his career, Hall has continued to act in both film and television, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He has appeared in a variety of genres, ranging from comedy to drama, and has received praise for his performances. Among his achievements, Anthony Michael Hall has garnered critical acclaim for his portrayal of complex characters and has earned several award nominations for his work. Presently, Anthony Michael Hall is 55 years old, with a career that has left a lasting impact on popular culture. Melanie Griffith is an American actress born on August 9, 1957, in New York City, New York. She comes from a family deeply rooted in the entertainment industry, with her mother, Tippi Hedren, being a renowned actress. Griffith gained fame for her captivating performances in a variety of films throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Her breakthrough role came in the 1984 film, Body Double, followed by memorable performances in movies like, Working Girl, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, and Something Wild. Griffith's career has been marked by versatility as she has successfully portrayed characters across different genres, including drama, comedy, and romance. Among her achievements, Melanie Griffith has won several awards for her acting, including a Golden Globe Award. As of now, Melanie Griffith is 66 years old, and her contributions to film and television continue to be celebrated by audiences worldwide. Barry Manilow, born on June 17, 1943, in Brooklyn, New York, is an American singer, songwriter, and musician whose career skyrocketed in the 1970s with a series of chart-topping songs and albums that captivated global audiences. Renowned for his melodic tunes and heartfelt lyrics, Manilow became a pop music icon, amassing a devoted fan base. The breakthrough success of Mandy in 1974 propelled him to stardom, followed by hits like Copacabana and Can't Smile Without You. With over 85 million records sold worldwide, Barry Manilow stands among the best-selling artists in history. A recipient of multiple Grammy Awards and an inductee into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, Manilow, now 80, continues to resonate with audiences, solidifying his timeless legacy in the annals of music history.
Mike Tyson is a former professional boxer and one of the most iconic figures in the history of the sport. Born on June 30, 1966, in Brooklyn, New York, Tyson's tumultuous upbringing led him to find solace and discipline in the sport of boxing. He quickly rose to fame for his incredible skill, power, and ferocity inside the ring. Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in history at the age of 20, dominating the boxing world with his intimidating presence and devastating knockout punches. Throughout his career, Tyson amassed an impressive record with numerous championship titles and victories over some of the sport's most formidable opponents. Despite personal struggles and controversies outside of the ring, Tyson's impact on boxing is undeniable. Now, Mike Tyson is 57 years old, and his legacy as one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time continues to endure, inspiring generations of fighters and fans alike. Daryl Hannah is an American actress and environmental activist born on December 3, 1960, in Chicago, Illinois. She gained fame for her captivating performances in a variety of films throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Hannah's breakthrough role came in 1982 when she portrayed the android Pre in Ridley Scott's cult classic, Blade Runner. Following this success, she went on to star in several iconic films, including, Splash, Steel Magnolias, and, Kill Bill. Hannah's career has been marked by her ability to portray a diverse range of characters, from the sweet and innocent to the dark and enigmatic. In addition to her acting career, Daryl Hannah is known for her environmental activism, particularly her efforts to promote sustainable living and renewable energy sources. Currently, Daryl Hannah is 63 years old, and her contributions to both the entertainment industry and environmental causes continue to be recognized and celebrated. Rupert Everett, born on May 29, 1959, in Burnham Deepdale, Norfolk, England, is an accomplished English actor, writer, and filmmaker. His breakthrough came with the role of George Downs in the 1994 romantic comedy, Four Weddings and a Funeral, propelling him to international stardom. Everett's career spans film, television, and stage, where he adeptly navigates both comedic and dramatic roles, showcasing wit, charm, and a distinctive on-screen presence. Beyond acting, he extends his creative reach into writing and filmmaking, solidifying his status as a versatile artist. With critical acclaim for his performances and nominations for prestigious awards, Rupert Everett, at 64, remains a celebrated figure in the arts, leaving an enduring impact on audiences worldwide through his multifaceted contributions. Angelica Houston is an American actress, director, and producer born on July 8, 1951, in Santa Monica, California. She was born into a prominent Hollywood family, with her father being the legendary film director John Houston. Angelica Houston gained widespread recognition for her role as Mayrose Prizzy in the 1985 film, Pritzy's Honor, which earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, Houston has delivered captivating performances in a wide range of films, showcasing her versatility and depth as an actress. She has worked with renowned directors such as Woody Allen, Wes Anderson, and Stephen Frears, earning critical acclaim for her work. Among her achievements, Angelica Houston has won numerous awards, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and several BAFTA Awards. Today, Angelica Houston is 72 years old, yet her talent and influence in the world of film continue to endure.
Mark McGrath is an American singer, songwriter, and television host born on March 15, 1968, in Hartford, Connecticut. He rose to fame as the lead vocalist of the rock band Sugar Ray, which gained widespread popularity in the late 1990s and early 2000s with hits like, Fly, Every Morning, and Someday. McGrath's charismatic stage presence and distinctive voice contributed to Sugar Ray's success, making them a staple of the alternative rock scene. Beyond his music career, McGrath has also ventured into television hosting, appearing on shows like, Extra, and, Don't Forget the Lyrics. Throughout his career, McGrath has achieved success both as a musician and as a television personality, earning him a dedicated fanbase and recognition in the entertainment industry. Presently, Mark McGrath is 55 years old, and his contributions to music and television continue to be appreciated by fans around the world. We hope you enjoyed our journey into the world of celebrity changes. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel for more interesting material, and leave your ideas in the comments section. Until the next time, stay tuned for more interesting announcements from our channel.